Welcome. In this video, we'll give you an overview of the Site tab of the SIDRA Intersection 9.1 User Interface. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit like, and leave a comment on this video. We'd love your feedback. Now, let's begin. The SIDRA Intersection Site tab functions can be used to model and evaluate various intersection types with ease. These include signalized intersections, sign controlled intersections, roundabouts, and pedestrian crossings. Sites are also the building blocks of network models including freeway interchanges and alternative intersections modeled as networks. The Site tab is displayed in the main window when you first start the program or when you open an existing SIDRA intersection project. Under the Site tab, the Sites section in the Project pane on the left side of the screen displays all sites included in the current project. Sites can be grouped together using folders. Select a site by clicking the Site Name in the Sites section. The site name will be highlighted and shown with a checkbox. You can right-click the site name in the Sites section or click the right arrow on the selected site bar to access various functions that apply to the selected site. If you select several sites or a site folder, the selected site bar and the site input section will be empty. These are available only when a single site is selected. Colored bars to the left of each site name shows the processing status of the sites. Blue bar indicates an unprocessed site. Red bar means the site has been processed but contains errors, and green bar is used for sites processed successfully. The Site tab ribbon consists of the Site, Add New Site, Site Functions, Site Folders, and Data Summary Command Groups. When you click the Layout button in the ribbon, a Site Layout display will appear for the selected site in the display pane. Double-clicking a site name will select a site and also open the Site Layout display. Right-clicking a layout picture will open a menu which will allow you quick access to the site input dialogs and other commands. The Add New Site group includes the commands available for adding sites to the project. Here, you can create new, signalized sites, roundabouts, sign-controlled intersections, freeway single-point interchange, and pedestrian crossings. Site templates with many different configurations are also available for creating a new site. The Map Extract function allows you to import sites using OpenStreetMap map file data. Sites that can be created include signalized intersections, sign-controlled intersections, and roundabouts. Click the Map Extract button in the Site ribbon to open the tool. Enter your desired road address into the Search Locations bar. The Map Extract tool will automatically detect available sites in the loaded map file. 
These sites will be marked by a red rectangle. Hovering the mouse over a red rectangle will provide information about the site type and roads. Click the red rectangle for the desired site to open the Import Preview dialog. The Import Preview dialog allows you to specify site details, make changes to the site type, and change leg orientation. Click OK to import the site into your project file. The Site Functions group in the ribbon displays the commands to clone or convert an existing site, import a site from another project, and export sites to a new project. Use the Move Up, Move Down, and Delete commands to organize the sites and folders in the Sites section of the project pane. Site Folders commands allow you to create new folders and move sites to different folders. The Data Summary group will open reports and displays for checking various input data specifications. The Site Input section displays the input dialogs for the selected site. Using these input dialogs, you will configure site geometry and specify all other site data. The available site input dialogs may vary according to the selected site type. Start your data specification with the Intersection dialog. This is because the intersection configuration established in this dialog will determine the geometry and movement data structure used in all other dialogs. Once you have completed your input data specifications and processed a site successfully, output will be available under the Site Reports and Site Displays tabs. If errors are found during processing a site, an error message will appear. The Site Reports section will only contain the Diagnostics report, which also includes the error message. In this case, you need to make any necessary corrections to the input data and process the site again. Under the Site Reports tab, you will find User Reports, General Reports, Unsignalized and Signals command groups. The Site Displays tab provides access to Site Displays and Site Flows command groups. Click the Output commands to open reports and displays in the Display pane. Let's click the down arrow next to the Movement Flows command. This will open an Output dialog which includes options for displays and reports by Movement class. You can right-click any site output report or display area to open a menu which will allow you to access the site input dialogs and various other commands. This concludes our tour of the Site tab in Sidra Intersection 9.1. To learn more, please refer to the User Guide, Glossary, Help System in the Software, and view our other YouTube tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.